Okay, so let's start the session here. Our session is in 87 BPM and we have to import one loop and three MIDI chords in the session. So my first task is to import a loop. So for that, I will add an audio clip. Before that, I will change my tempo to 87. That is my desired X in my project tempo. All right, so the tempo is set. So my audio clip, click on it. And there's a file option and there's a folder option. Click on the folder. I will go to my desired path, find out my folder where I have saved my loop. That is here. Okay, what I have to do is I have to normalize this and set a channel track for this. So I'm setting channel five for this. So my channel is set, my track is normalized, and my loop is all set. Now I'll go to my main arrangement window and I'll pick up this loop and drag it here from count number one. I'll check from, and I change from pattern to song. So it's playing right now. Let me have sound. So, so it's just playing right now, let's, let's check. Okay, so my next task is to import a chord here and a MIDI chord. And the task and the challenge here is the MIDI file comes with its own tempo that is 120 BPM. And we have to change that uh, BPM tempo as per the project that is 87 BPM. So I'll go here and select my next pattern, my pattern here, then select my uh, arranging arranger here. I'll bring up a full keys track. I have a full keys now. So I'll go and import my MIDI file from my desired folder. Select no and, and bring, open the MIDI file again. And we have to select start new, Deselect this button, start new project. So deselect this button and accept the MIDI file. So the MIDI file will come. Now select in the region of MIDI file here. Okay, now my MIDI file has come on the 14th bar as you can see, oh sorry, 10th bar. So I need it on a bar number one. So control A that is select all, control X that is cut, bring it on a one and control V. So my copy is selected on a first one. Now what I have to do, my MIDI file has come here. I'll bring and drag the MIDI file here. And now you see there is a tempo change here. It's showing 120 instead of 87. So what do I have to do? I again have to go in the MIDI file. I have to go in on the tempo, click and e edit event. Okay, when you see this window, events tempo, select all, that is control A, delete, then go, go out and change the tempo to 87 again. This is a little longer process in Apple Studio. Go to the arranging video and your loop will be set on the right tempo. Okay. All right. And same thing, you can copy it as per the your desire. Now, same way you can go to the next one. Now you have a next pattern. So we have to bring the second MIDI file loop in. For that, go to all. You'll see the all here. Now bring it, take it in the keys again. File, import a MIDI. No and select the second MIDI file that is open again. And again, deselect, start new project. Accept that file. Now you have a file, go in the region, click on the region. You see your file will be pasted somewhere. Now here, as you see, it is pasted on the 14th. So again, control A, that is select all. Control X, that is cut, bring it on the one. Control V, and your file is located on the first PPM. Now again, 
<clears throat> you have a second MIDI here. Select bring bring the file here, and you see there's an extra length which is from. We can reduce it as per your design. Now you have a shorter loop. Click on the file. Again, go. On. Now you see again the tempo has changed as soon as the file comes on this new file the tempo changes to 120 again click on this midi file just select go to the tempo region again double click on edit edit event now you have on the event now same same instruction if you do it is select all okay select all and then delete and you have to go out and don't forget to change your tempo to 87 BPM back again. So now you see same thing. You have an extra length coming in this one. You can reduce, bring it here and paste it as per your requirement. Let's do it one more last time so that you, you will know how to do it. Again, go to the next pattern. Now you have an extra pattern number four. Go to this pattern. Again, go file, import a MIDI file, select no, select the third MIDI, desired MIDI. Deselect a start new option, except now select the region. Again, select all. Control X, one, copy, paste, and do it again. One, now you have all the files on. It has been cubed to one. Now you have a third chord again. Go to the arranging video, bring the third chord here. If there is any extra length, you can cut it down. Let's bring the track here. Now see again, you see there's a tempo has been changed. So double click on the file, which is just renew right now. Go over the file, it's a longer process. Edit, select all, delete, limit one, go out. Don't forget to change the tempo to 87 again. And save the project. Okay, I hope it's all clear and will help you in the project. Thank you.